Off to Cabo. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. So we made it. We're here. Definitely getting a margarita. What up, man? My man in the background giving us some love. <laughs> um, a lot of these, hotels, a lot of these uh, airports will have bars at the airport, which of course they got a margarita bar. And yeah, it's overpriced. We're gonna partake. So two margaritas coming right up. Rotorita. <laughs> <laughs> so, how far of a ride do we have? We have about 25 30 minutes. Okay, 25 30, yes. that's not bad. Yes. Perfect yes. thing to finish my margarita. Yes, and I have beer in the back. Of the <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I might grab one of those right now. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this will work. Senor, may I take your table? Mm-hmm. This will work. Gracias, amiga. Mmm. Mm, so good. I'll tell you what. Margaritas made in Mexico just taste different. Right? Don't they? Yeah, they just hit different. They're more fresh. Uh, they're just, I don't know. Obviously, having that in your background helps, but we're here. Initial thoughts. Really like it. I'm really, I'm really, yeah, right when you, right when you check in, they give you that hot towel. Super nice. And then what's that, what's that drink they gave us in the champagne flute? I don't know what that was, but it was really good. Coconut. American something. Coconut something. But now we're drinking margaritas. Let's go. I think the best memory foam. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. It's incredible. Guys, check out the view from our room. Oh my gosh, that's killer. I wanna say real quick too, we actually have a podcast. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I'll put a link in the description. It'll have a full review on this resort, how it compares to other resorts. Uh, we actually traveled to hundreds of all-inclusives. Um, so we can compare this resort to other resorts. Is it good value? What's a good fit for you? 
you know, we really break it all down. Full review podcast. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, we're a zero fee travel agency. We don't charge a dime for our services. So if you want to work with us, we can help help you pick out the best resort for you. Um, and we can actually bundle your land and air and do a lot of cool things for you there. So I'll put a link in the description below on how to get a hold of us. Also, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And if you have a question about this resort or something else that you're seeing in the video, go ahead and, and comment it below. We'll do our best to answer every question. Let's continue on with the video. All right, going down to Soma Bar. First day, just arrived. We're checking it out. Let's go. That's good. That's a good one. Numero uno, <laughs> lemonies. Let's go. Buffet is unreal. <laughs> There's so many options. Oh my gosh. kind of lookout point they have here at LeBlanc. You see the whole resort behind me? Got the pools, got the, the rooms, and then the beach is right over here. It's pretty incredible. Mobile podcast studio is set up. 
Not a bad view. It's the small touches. Look at that. That's nice. Hanging out at the pool today. It is beautiful. And this resort is amazing. Look at this. They have an infinity pool. You kind of see it leads on out to the ocean. So test out test out that swim up bar and it's a beautiful day. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Hmm. So good. These freshly made tacos are incredible. They even like did, uh, cook the tortilla a little bit in front of you. Fresh chicken, fresh beef. I got pico, guacamole, a little bit of cilantro, and I put some uh, fresh, freshly squeezed lime juice on it. It's unbelievable. I got chicken and beef. It's the food quality here. Isn't it the best thing? It's, it's the best. All right. It's night two. We're going to. Numero dos. We're going to the Cape. Which is one of our favorite hotels, not one but you get a dinner and an amazing rooftop lounge. Like we usually, it's We've stayed at the Cape before and it's really not, like we really had a good time. Yeah. So we're about 20 minutes away. We're gonna take a transfer from the hotel. Yeah. Grab some wine, watch, the, watch sunset. the sunset. It's gonna be nice. Yeah. Follow along, let's go. I tell you what, man. Yes, yeah, the Cape. The Escalade's the way to go. Very nice transfer to the Cape. Let's go. sunrise so the sunrise is right there it's early what time is it it's 6 30 but it's incredibly peaceful out here you hear the waves and it's just so refreshing to watch the sunrise in the morning
mimosas at breakfast. Can't beat it. Checking out the spot. It's a hydrotherapy and pesticide. So, oh yeah, hydrotherapy first. Yeah, so free hydrotherapy and then uh, how much is the uh, couple's massage? I can't remember, like $500. Oh, okay, should be pretty good then. <laughs> I hope so. We'll take you guys with us. Got a hot date tonight. Going to Italian. And we're looking the part, look at that. We look very tropical. <laughs> <laughs> so, come with us. Chocolate filled donut. Here we go. Here we go. Night four. We spent all day just chilling at the pool. And now we're going to Lumiere, the fine dining French restaurant. Yes, so apparently this is the restaurant here at this resort. We did not try, they have one in Cancun. We couldn't try it, so we're really excited to try it this time. So we'll take you guys with us. We did not do much filming tonight. Yeah, we're just we really just like relaxed. Yeah. We were tired, but. Uh, yeah. Refreshed now and we're ready to film dinner. It's gonna be good. And then we'll probably hang out on the lounge just for a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. go. Dinner last night. It's our last night. Sorry, we didn't update you earlier. We chilled like all day long. It was nice. Yeah, needed to kind of push the reset button, relax a little bit, but we're Had back. Saving margaritas. But yep. We're, we're good. <laughs> so we reset. <laughs> so now we're going to dinner, and we're going to the Asian place tonight. We have Lumiere, which is the like fine dining French restaurant we had last night. And it was fabulous. Yeah. So we are now going to Asian. I'm gonna have some sushi tonight, and the resort is beautiful. Check it out. Comes alive at night. Yeah, Let's go.
Last day, we're about to leave. Yes, time to head home. It's a bummer when you have to leave a resort like this because this resort is amazing. We're going to give you a quick little summary on what we thought about this resort. Yeah. Um, we do want to say too, if you want more of a long form review, other than the summary we're about to give, please check out the link in the description for our podcast, if you're a podcast listener, and you get a full review of this resort. But we'll give you kind of a high level breakdown. Honestly, the thing that sticks out the most to me is the food and the service here. Yeah, and there's just a wow factor right when you walk in. Yeah, it's this resort was built in 2015? No, like 2018. 2018. So, but it's very modern. You still have this kind of rich, you know, Mexican culture to it. Like it re you really feel like you're in Cabo. Yeah. Uh, just being on the resort. It's it's a larger resort. It's it's not like, you know, some of the all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean where they're smaller, more village style. It is kind of a larger resort feel, but honestly, it's so modern, so fresh. The service is great. Food um, excellence. Uh, the drink's excellent. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. So the beach is honestly, for me, the beach was better than I thought it would be. Um, it's not very swimmable. So if you're a huge beach person, you'd love to get in the ocean. This might not be the resort for you. Which most beaches in Cabo are not. Most beaches are not. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the shoreline is very rocky. But the, the strip of beach right here in front of LeBlanc is actually really nice. So if you like to just lay out on the beach, you yeah. can absolutely do that. Or go on nice long walks, it's perfect for that too. Yeah, but swimming, maybe not so much. But um, but overall, I mean, this is definitely five stars. Yeah. Um, we, we LeBlanc's a great brand where it lived up to the hype for us. And it's definitely the best adult-only all-inclusive in Cabo. Yes. And we've been to a few of them. Yeah, number one in Cabo. This one takes a cake. But we'll, we'll break it all down in our in our you know review podcast. Check out the link in the description, and we'll have a long form, probably an hour long podcast on this. We'll break down every single detail if you're considering going to this resort. By the way, we're a zero fee traveling, so we don't try to dime for our services. So if you if you want to work with us, we're gonna you're gonna pay exactly what you would pay online. Maybe less. Maybe less. We might be able to bundle some air and land and save you a little bit of money. And uh, and uh, we we don't charge any fees for our service. So and you're gonna get our knowledge. We've been you've been to hundreds of all. You'll get our help. And should anything go wrong during your travels, we can also help you with that as well. So so make sure to hit us up. Um, also comment any questions below. I'll, I'll, we'll do our best to answer any questions in the comments. And um, if you're learning some stuff on this channel and you're liking the content, please subscribe. We're trying to get our subs up. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. And our next video is gonna be. Secrets Moshe. We're going to be heading home today. We'll be home for a few weeks and then we're heading off to Secrets Moshe, which is in Cancun, head to the other side of Mexico. And that is Secrets newest resort. And there's a lot of hype around it. So yeah. we'll have another video on that coming out in a few weeks. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss when we upload content. Yes. Anyways, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. See you next time.